Hi, this is Russ from the Air Users blog, and I want to show you the Sounds of the Arp Quadra from Synth Magic. It is a real storming little synth plugin. It's an emulation of the Arp Quadra based around a contact, and it comes in four parts. It comes with strings, poly, lead, and bass. And the bass has its own step sequencer built in as well. 20 pounds or just one penny short of 20 pounds 19.99 it's a ridiculous amount of money to pay for something this quality and the modeling is brilliant and the graphics are fantastic so if you ever had one then you'll play with this and smile if you haven't then you'll just enjoy the whole retro feel of this so let me just play you a track i've put together first the only thing that isn't this plugin which is in four parts is a drum part I'm using uh, I'm triggering on the contact and a couple of loops as well so have a listen to this and the bass is being played from the step sequencer and the rest of it is just being arped and stuff like that so let me play it you and then we'll have a play with it and I'll show you all about it and give you my feelings about it and a review of it thanks <laughs> So let me show you it in detail. First one I want to show you is the, the bass part. And the bass has a couple of things. Obviously, it's it's a simple bass sequence set. So if I just choose that, uh, got things like decay here. Resonance. You have a phaser as well, uh, and you can... Get some really cool big deep bass sounds there. And you've got a 16 and an 8. But the really cool bit is the sequence set, which I think is great fun. So if we turn that on and we play it, now it's triggered from C8 on your keyboard. Now I've already had a chat with the guys. I've suggested that at the moment it has a it has a, a key on, but not a key off. And I think it would be really helpful to have a key off. Very responsive. I was emailing them till 11 p.m. last night, and he was coming straight back to me and saying, yeah, that's a great idea. I'll change it. So the great thing about dealing with these small software houses is that you don't often get with the big, big corporates, whoever they are, whether they're uh, NI or Avid or, or Apple, is that responsiveness of a guy who's there in his office or there in his studio. And very quickly, he's, he's making changes. He's responding to customer needs. And I really love that. So... It's worth 20 quid for that. It's worth 200 quid, to be honest. But uh, this is as steel as it is. So you press C8 and play it. And we turn it on. And you get this cool little step sequence. And the way you program it is you literally just uh, change the notes here. Now, the one thing I've worked out as well is if this is in uh, frequency mode where, where we can change the resonance and the frequency of each note as it plays through, what you can do is you can actually mute notes by literally just turning the frequency down right down. Which is very cool and do some really cool stuff as well. If we put the resonance up, That's, that's really nice, that. So 
So I'm in sync host mode at the moment, and that can be on or off. If you want it to run independently, you can run this standalone, you can, but I'm in sync host mode, which now means that the, the clock is being clocked from the uh, host that you're playing through. Of course, I'm in Pro Tools, because we're a Pro Tools blog, but you could uh, run in Cubase or Reaper or whatever you want. You've got the rate and the speed. Length's cool as well if you just want an 8-beat eight, eight uh, riff. I say, I love the way that that resonance uh, gives that really good thump if you can hear it. So you can turn that off and just have it playing like that. And then of course the decays here. So that's the bass one. Let's stop that. Uh, let's then go to the uh, string part, which is here. And let's open that one up. Let me play you this. This is very nice. And the filters are really nice on it. And the resonant filter in particular is really gutsy. Got these lovely effects as well. We've got reverb, we've got delay, we've got chorus. And they've all got that really nice analog feeling to them. What I like as well is we can assign an LFO to the, uh, the filtering. You can see it's working at the moment there. So what we could do is change that wave shape to be a sample and hold and turn the... And get some really nice organic sounds going like that. Let's say beautiful, beautiful. Nice vintage uh, string sound there. Bit depth option as well. And a rotor. It's a really nice brightness in there. Kind of a ring modulator feeling there. So in your options here, you've got velocity curves, you can add velocity to it. And there's a splash screen for it. So there's the string part, which I think is really nice. Then we've got the poly part. Let's open the poly up. And I just love the uh, time that Stephen's taken over to build the interface.
And again, the sound is just great. Nice interval option on this, so we can we can tune it. Nice fifths. Variable ADSR. Oops. One thing I hate about uh, contact is that if you grab the wrong part of the screen, you end up moving contact around on the thing you're working on. So you can switch all that VCA on, there's the VCF, the voltage controlled filter. There's a filter envelope there. So the LFO can control the filter there. Let's load some of the load the presets. There's a fifth lead here. And again, some just lovely retro early 80s synth sounds. Lovely samples. And again, you've got the full effects. You've got an arpeggiator here as well. I'm going to phase. Fil full filter section again. Get those lovely early synth sounds. Full effect section again. This twang sounds pretty cool. I like this one. That's kind of retro reverb there as well. Very nice down the bottom end too. Nice thing about the arpeggiator as well, it's got a lot of variation. It's random. Zigzag. So you get a lot of variation on the sound there. So. As I said, this is a review, and what I'd say is for £20, it is brilliant. It's a steal. It's a great bit of kit. And if you love retro synths, then I would suggest you buy this. It gets my thumbs up. Out of 10, I'd give it 9. The reason I'm not giving it 10 is things like the switch on and off for the bass sequencer and a couple of other small things, uh, which I'm talking to Stephen about, but uh, for £20, to be honest, I'd bite his hand off. It's a fantastic deal. And so it gets my thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll see you again on the Air User Blog soon. Thanks for watching.